How's it going everybody? David here with solopowermyrv.com and today I just want to give you guys a quick tour of this Grand Design Solitude solar system we just completed. So starting on the roof, we installed 12 of these 200 watt rich solar panels for a total of 2400 watts of solar. When you live in your RV full time and you want to go off the grid, you're going to want as much solar panels as you can fit on the roof. So starting with the battery bank, we installed four of these 200 amp hour rich solar lithium batteries for a total of 800 amp hours. You're gonna need at least two of these batteries to run a 3000 watt inverter. And if you're full time living or do a lot of boondocking, we usually recommend at least three or four of them. Just one of these batteries is the equivalent of four to six standard lead acid batteries, but these will last 10 years or longer. They are also lightweight and weigh about 60 pounds each. We also add a main battery cutoff switch with every install so you can turn off the whole system with one switch. And then we also have a main system fuse here, which is gonna protect the whole system along with the inverter. And then we have a Bluetooth battery monitor here, which is also redundant with the one inside. So you have one here and one on the inside. And as far as the solar, we have two solar controllers here and we have 1200 watts of solar on each solar controller. And then we have a on off switch for each solar input. And then we have a breaker for the output on each one. With this amount of solar, it can recharge the whole battery bank from zero in one good sunny day. So moving on to the next component is the inverter, which we mounted on the other side of this wall here so that it could get better airflow. So we got a 3000 watt inverter here that's gonna power everything in the RV. It powers the whole electrical panel. So it powers both legs of 50 amps and this is a multi plus two. So it'll power everything from the batteries with this one unit. It also includes an automatic transfer switch inside. It automatically turns into a large lithium battery charger. So you can quickly recharge your batteries with shore power or with a generator with this unit. So moving on to the inside, I'll show you where we mounted the Touch 50 touchscreen system monitor. So we're gonna go ahead and turn on the fridge here and we'll check out the monitor to show you how it's gonna kinda work. So we turn the fridge on electric here. Now if we go to our monitor, we can see how much power just the fridge is pulling. So we have just the fridge on and you see it's an AC load. So it's uh, going through the inverter. So it's pulling about 600 watts, which equates to about 60 amps per hour from the battery. So you're using 60 amps per hour. Now let's go ahead and try the microwave. Make sure nothing's in there first. And we'll go ahead and start it. And if we go look at our monitor here, we have the fridge off, so this is just the microwave here. We're gonna pull in about 1300 watts or about 128 amps per hour. Now, when you have a generator, you have an extra backup here, so you can start your generator. And once you start it, it'll take about 30 seconds or so. And then you'll see this red box pop up. It'll pop up as shore power. And it's going to slowly ramp up here and start charging the batteries automatically and power everything else on your AC panel, like your air conditioner or microwave and outlets. So this is a great way to have a backup and, you know, you can charge really quick. So it'll charge about 100 amps per hour. So if you have an 800 amp hour battery bank, it will charge in about eight hours. And the cool thing is that this can work with the solar at the same time as charging. Now we're in the shop here, so we have no solar coming in, but you can have both charging at the same time. Now, if you scroll to the right here, this is how you can turn your inverter on and off. And this is how you set your input current limit. Now your input current limit is gonna tell the inverter how much shore power or generator power you have to work with. And if you use more than that, the batteries in the solar will pick up the rest of it so you can run more than what the shore power or generator is providing. Now, once you turn off the generator, or if you unplug from your shore power, what's gonna happen is it's gonna automatically switch back to inverter mode as long as the inverter is on and you'll be back to running on solar power and battery power. 
If you're looking to solar power your fifth wheel, make sure to get your free online estimate at solarpowermyrv.com slash free quote. We're conveniently located in Denver, Colorado, right off of Interstate 25.